This country is located in Southeast Europe, sharing borders with Bosnia, Albania, Kosovo, and Serbia. Podgorizo is the capital of Montenegro. Montenegro begin with its breathtaking landscapes, where rugged mountains meet the dark blue waters, weaving a tale that spans ancient civilizations, medieval kingdoms, a modern quest for identity and independence. The population of Montenegro consists of 613,000 beautiful people. According to the surveys, female ratio is more than the male in the country. In ancient times, Montenegro was home to Illyrians, along with Greeks and Celts settling in the region. Romans came in 9th century conquering the land and creating a border zone between their rule and Byzantine Empire. In the aftermath, a Roman decline. Good, Avars and Slavs arrived, finding a refuge in Montenegro rugged terrains. The South Slav people and sister of present-day Serbs and Montenegrins formed tribe with alliance to Bulgaria and Venus. Montenegro experienced priestly shifts, wavering between Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholicism. Under Peter II in 1830s, Montenegro embraced modernization, participation in war, and expanding in the early 20th century. Through world wars and communist rules as part of Yugoslavia, the region faced neglect and economic troubles. In 2006, Montenegro voted for independence, navigating economic challenges and seek closer ties with Europe. Joining NATO in 2017, debates about identity and relations with Russia persisted, making Montenegro's ongoing journey from ancient times to the complexities of the present. In Montenegro Bay of Kotor, near Perast, you will find Our Lady of the Rocks, a special island formed by rocks and sunken ships. The biggest structure on the island is the Catholic Church of Our Lady of the Rocks. And there is even a museum there. It's a unique spot with a fascinating story. Tara River Canyon, a magnificent place to visit. It is the deepest canyon in Europe and second deepest in the world. It is truly delightful and active vacation spot to offer you to enjoy water sports and magnificent views. Biogradska Gora is a forest and a national park in Montenegro, one of the UNESCO's World Network of Biosphere Reserves. It has a beautiful scenic views, a lake covered with lush green mountains. Podgorica, the capital city of Montenegro. Its river and bridges include the modern Millennium Bridge and a stone bridge spanning the Ripnica River. The centuries-old clock tower built by the Turks dominates the old town. Lake Scatter National Park is home to medieval monasteries and beaches.
Montenegrin lamb in the milk is a main dish. Cooking with the milk is secret. It's delicious and mouth-watering. Pozara is a Croatian technique of preparing seafood by cooking it in a mixture of olive oil, wine, garlic, fresh herbs, and sometimes bread crumb. It is a national and classic dish in Montenegro. Imagine ham and cheese combined into a slice of veal. This is also a seafood. If you like seafood, this dish is a must try. It is flooded with seafood. In concluding our journey through Montenegro, we have unveiled a country that seamlessly blends history, natural beauty and culinary delights from its ancient tools, illustrated by the tales of Illyrians and medieval kingdoms to the present day allure of destinations like Bay of Kotor and Biogradska Gora National Park. Montenegro emerges as a mosaic of cultural richness and breathtaking landscapes. As we explored the diverse flavors of Montenegrin cuisine, from savory local specialists to sweet delights, it became evident that this nation doesn't just offer a visual feast, but also tantalizes the taste buds. Montenegro, with its warm hospitality of experiences, invites travelers to immerse themselves in a journey that transcends time and resonates with the essence of a country that is both storied and splendid. I have tried my level best to pronounce the names correctly but if I am wrong somewhere please correct me in the comments and tell me if you like the video and want more on any country or city. If you want to know more about Montenegro, I have attached a link in my description of channel named Discovery Montenegro. They are doing the best job to show the beauty of Montenegro. So here we end the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet soon with a new video of a new country.